What was the one on the West End? Oh, okay. West End of the mall? Yeah, the West End of the main mall. I'm not sure which end is the West End. Man, Next to the Civic Center. One side, and I don't remember what was on the other side. The Tidewater was on the east end. Yeah, Tidewater and the uh, uh, Chili's and uh, and uh, back to the oh, heck, what's that one? Outback. Yeah, Outback. Well, back in the day, it was uh, uh, what was the name of that restaurant? You used to you always say you were going to the mall and going to go to Christmas shopping, but you were going to that bar. Yeah, I can't remember. We were in there a number of times. Oh, it was, they, had, they had good bar food and, and the drinks were good. That was that was Tidewater, we, I think I ate Tidewater good. more than anywhere else, I guess, in the mall. I sent my gift cards back to them today. The Tidewater? Yeah. That's right, they closed up, didn't they? Yeah, they're gone. The two elder, yeah, they closed that and chop house food. Akadoos, was that the name of that place on the other end? No, uh uh-uh. It was my, it was something like that. It was Bennigan's, was one of Bennigan's, 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 yes, that's it. That's it, Bennigan's, yeah, that was pretty good. Oh, buddy, I tell you. That had to be when Bennigan, when I remember Bennigan's was probably uh, right after we came back to Charleston, maybe in the early 90s. Would that be about right? It was there when they first opened the mall. When was that, you know? I don't remember. Probably eight, late 80s or early 90s. When they opened the mall? Yeah. Oh, Lord, no, it's before that. Oh, yes. I, was, I graduated high school in 66. I, and I can't, I don't know whether it was open then or not. It wasn't open then, I know, because I, I, I worked right across the street from Little Washington Street, and it wasn't open then. The Civic Center wasn't built then. But you know, Mike, I I, I think probably uh, the success of South Ridge and and, and that home complex out there has, has been the biggest problem for Charleston. Charleston Town Center opened in 1983. And was the largest downtown based shopping mall east of the Mississippi River. Yeah, was it that time? I think that's what I just said. I don't really, uh, of course, we weren't here then. But I can remember going to uh, Bennigan's and Tidewater. Used to sit there at that bar at the Tidewater and eat those, steal and eat shrimp. Oh, yes. And, uh, Have a beverage just just about just didn't hardly get much better than that. Then yeah, between Tidewater and out there on the out there on the street uh, between there where Monkey Wards was, uh, 
somewhere along, maybe even maybe part of the Hunter Lords, they put in a Dago on Italian restaurant in there. I've never been there. You better get outside sometime tonight and see the northern lights. Yeah, probably. I was a young child. How how young, I don't remember, I can't say, but I was pretty young. And my father took us, uh, took me outside of our house there in Madison and and showed me the northern lights. And how many years ago was that? Been? 50, 60 years ago? I, I don't ever remember seeing them other than I came back from uh, Southeast Asia twice that I can remember. We went to Anchorage, and it was in the wintertime. And on both of those occasions, I remember seeing the Aurora Borealis from, you know, 35,000 feet or something out over the Pacific Ocean. And I can remember it. I mean, it was it was spectacular from uh, from an airplane. I saw it here one time. I've been here where I'm at now. I remember when I saw. I saw it here one time when I was right here where I'm at now. Y'all double. Go ahead. I was. I just said that it was uh, nothing more than a than a dim glow in the sky when when I saw them years ago. I saw them from right here where I'm at now. It's been in the last, within the last 35 years. I don't remember just exactly what year it was, but I saw them from right here. No, I can't stay up late enough to watch them now. <laughs> I don't remember being that late, really. Well, I'm going to have to pass on them, and I'm going to say 73 to you guys. I'm going to bed. It's... Uh... About my bedtime, so we'll catch everybody tomorrow in the manana manana, K A W V A seven. Have a good night, Sam. Have a good night, Sam. Good night, Sam. Boy, well, that seems like so long ago now, doesn't it, David? Oh yeah. Thinking about the 60s, my God. Yeah, I know. That's what old men have, is memories. That's about all we got left, anyway. Well, that, and sometimes you think it's going. <laughs> it's even quicker than you want. Oh, yeah. I think I'm going to do the same thing, and the band's in good shape right now, and those guys on 33 sign, and it's, it's just as quiet as it can be up here right now. Yeah, it's quiet down here, too. Yeah, it's 9.30. I think it's uh, about time for me to get out there and find something, uh, all the dessert, and uh, get ready to go to bed. Charlie, David, I, I think it's... Just the three of us, so you guys have a good evening. Maybe we'll catch you tomorrow. W-8-L-M-G. Good night. Good night, Matt. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night, R-R. Yeah, good night, Matt. W-8-I-W. Good night, David. We'll on for there tomorrow night, right? As far as I know. What time do you want to go? 4 or 4.30? Well, we'll go 4.30. I don't know. I'd like to go to bed again or get in there tomorrow, really. Yeah, I don't know. That's the question, isn't it? <laughs> right. I guess we'll find out. Yep, sure will.